guys, welcome back to another episode of the Barber Gate Talk Show. I'm with Swole Mike and Buff Jenna. With two G's. With two G's, <laughs> because it's actually fitnessing. Good. And have your parents ever disowned you? No, <laughs> actually. What are you laughing? <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> I don't know, no, the reason why I'm asking is... <laughs> is there's... it because she's Asian? Yes. So That's there's... crazy. No, no, there's not that many Asians Should in I fitness. Should I just leave? No. So there's not that many Asians in fitness, right? Yeah. And so I feel like if you were to pursue something like fitness in the most stereotypical Asian family, they'd be like, what the fuck oh, are you doing? But she's not a surgeon? <laughs> yeah, not an accountant, engineer, oh, yeah. nurse, yeah, whatever. None of that. Like, how did your parents take you doing what you do? I, well, I think in Filipino culture, they enjoy, like, being in the starlight and stuff like that. So, they enjoyed that. Like, when I started posting a bunch of stuff online, they were kind of into it. Oh, cool. But I don't think they really understood it until I started getting, like, free stuff and then I started getting paid for things. Um, but they've never, like, disowned me for it. I think it's, this is, like, kind of tangent, but I think it's different growing up as someone whose parents were... First, or not first gen, um, immigrants, and then they didn't go to college. So they uh -huh. didn't really push me that hard. So your parents didn't go to college, so no. you think they're easier on you? Yeah, they also didn't understand it. Like, they didn't understand what it meant to go to college. If that makes sense. Yeah, yeah, no. Did you go to sense. college? I went to college, oh. but with, not to like bash them, but without the support of my parents. Like, they didn't really get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it wasn't, yeah, they didn't shove it on so you. So when you yes. went to college, what did they think you're doing? They're like... Oh, you should just going to go to more, <laughs> like more, more school or... Like, they, they understand it, but they didn't know how to support me. So it was like... like yeah! <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, it, it wasn't like, it wasn't deep. Like, they didn't say, like, it was, the most it was, was basically like, go to college, get a good job. And that's like, it. Yeah. So after you graduated, and then you have your job now, do they go... Unrelated. What is your job? <laughs> what is? Yeah. Well, hold on. I have to backtrack. Yeah, backtrack. Um, so once I graduated college, I was still working like odd jobs. Like I worked at BJ's, you know, the restaurant. Mm -hmm. I worked at Great Lululemon. Pazuki. Yes, yes. One of my favorites. So good. And then I worked at Lululemon and I was like, what the hell am I doing with my life? And then they also were wondering, what the fuck are you doing with your life? Um, and then I got approached by my current job and I've been there ever since. And I think they can tell that like it's my passion and I'm doing it as a job. So they're, I think they're happy for me. That's awesome. Yeah. So for them, they just kind of wanted you to like align yourself with something that you're really passionate for. And then because of that, they go, okay, cool. This is, this is good. Yeah. And I think the... The social media part probably helps them see that I'm actually doing something. Because my mom follows me on Instagram and she's like, oh my gosh, she gets to do all these cool things. My daughter's um, a star. Yeah, no, like we'd be, <laughs> we'll be at like a family party and she's showing people videos of me lifting. Oh, like, she's proud. We don't oh. have to do that right now. It's like so embarrassing. That's awesome. Yeah, but it's definitely different from like the normal Asian stereotype where yeah. it's like, obviously they want me to like have a high paying job. But it's not like they're pushing me to become a surgeon or a doctor. Or yeah, what's the typical? Uh, a lot of members of my gym are Filipino. And, uh, I yeah. feel like 80% are n in nursing school. In nursing. Exactly. It's all nursing? Yeah, that's, that's kind of like the norm. my family, my yeah. ancestors, they're all nurses. All of them. Did your parents ever go to any of your powerlifting meets? Yeah, they do come. When it's local, yeah, they'll that's come. Cool. Or they'll watch the live stream. Damn, they watch the live stream? They yeah. support. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know if they completely understand it, but I think they just enjoy seeing me do my thing oh my god there's a third attempt <laughs> yeah but your mom's calculating kilos <laughs> yeah, they have no idea what's going on does, does your dad know how strong you are um i don't know i've never really asked him like dad you want to yeah. arm wrestle yeah yeah no we've actually never talked about it because i bet you beat him yeah are Probably. either of them into fitness at all no my my entire family is so stationary like going down like extended family none of them exercise like that how did you get into it? Instagram. Instagram has done so much for me. Really? You just started following fit chicks? Yeah. There was this one girl I saw. She was on my explore page and she was lifting like, she was probably squatting 135. And I was like, what the hell? Girls can do that? So I followed her. I followed everyone at the gym she goes to. And then ever since then, like. How long ago was this and who is she? That was 2018. Yeah. Hey, give her a shout out. Jiggly Buff, uh, the Korean Hulk's girlfriend. Oh, oh. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Korean Hulk. 
Yeah, his girlfriend. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 2018? Yeah. yeah, and she doesn't really, she doesn't post at all anymore, but she was the first woman I ever saw, like, powerlifting. That's yeah. cool. I was like, what yeah. the hell is that? Yeah, I mean, that's kind of the pocket, 2016 to 2018. Mm -hmm. A lot of people started opening the door for others to get into the sport. Yeah, and it's really cool because it's, it's Instagram. It's just like a social media, and now it's, like, taken off. Everybody's trying to get into it. It's really cool. We're trying to um, get out of it. <laughs> Me too, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I do remember a period of time where you don't see any chicks hitting the big plate. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's always the change plates. Yeah. And then every once in a while, you will see a chick hit like maybe 135 for three or four or whatever. And you're like, whoa. Even squatting yeah. was rare. They're doing like yeah. glute jumping jacks in the corner or something. You know, they're like yeah. bent over, just like hopping yeah. on a bench. That's yeah. it. But now everyone's yeah. squatting. It's yeah, really everyone. cool to see. Yeah, I've told this story before, but I, I've gone to like tons of gyms. I grew up in like a bodybuilding style gym, like mm -hmm. super hardcore when I was in like eighth grade. And then um, in between, I'll just go to commercial gyms that were near my house. Uh, and I went to, it's just like a 24 hour fitness, you know? Mm -hmm. And I had one squat rack and it's like that zigzag oh my shit one, right? Oh, Fast that. forward, I don't know, eight years later, I go back to that same one when I'm visiting my mom and they have like Aleco squat racks everywhere. Mm -hmm. And everyone's squatting. And like, yeah. I'm like, what the hell? Like, clearly squatting in general has just become cool again. Mm -hmm. It's super cool. If you could get any one of your family members to come train with you, who would it be? I th Well, both my parents. It would be great because lifting is really good for like bone density. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, have you tried anyone? To? No, they, no. Did you no. offer? Um, I built a gym at the, at the house. Oh, cool. I did? Yeah, my dad got into a little bit. My mom, like, she's a little interested, but it's it's hard to get started. Hell yeah. And nobody wants to get started because that's the hardest part. Um, so, yeah. And, and you have really to hold it. their hand. Yeah. It's one of those sure. things that if you, like, you set them up and you feel like, okay, cool. They're pedaling, they're pedaling, they're yeah. pedaling, and you let go. They just don't <laughs> yeah. do anymore. Yeah. So my dad, he was living with me. Um, he wanted to lose some weight. Mm -hmm. So I had him do pretty much like a baby version of an EMOM on the salt bike. Oh, yeah, yeah. And then I turned it into a game. So I'm like, hey, Dad, uh, you just need to do 10 minutes right now. Every minute on the minute, start with what you think is a manageable amount of calories. And he would like, oh, I hit like two calories every minute. I'm like, cool. And then uh, pretty soon, like every time I go train, he's just on the bike watching me and he would look at the calorie thing and he would get up to three, five, mm -hmm. yeah. six calories every minute on the minute. And then, uh, then I started having him like box squat, but it's one of those things where I kind of have to be there with him. Mm -hmm. I can't write a program and go, you follow it. I have to like, just kind of coach him the mm -hmm. whole way through. And in like, I think like three months, he lost 30 pounds. And okay. then he started doing the assault bike every time he was bored. Yeah. Like he's like, oh, I'm great. tired of watching fucking like Chinese dramas or whatever. <laughs> and just go in the garage. Some of it is, so yeah, good. just to be so inside. I, I opened my first gym in 2009 and I got my mom and dad to come in like once or twice. And I taught them how to deadlift, taught them how to squat and all that. And then they just wouldn't come unless I'm coaching them. And then they mm -hmm. just stopped coming. Um, fast forward, yeah, 2009. So now we're 16 years later. Uh, last year, my mom's like, yeah, I think it's time I started like deadlifting. Aww. And so she started coming to my gym in SAC and I taught her how to deadlift and I taught her how to squat and she trains every day. And then now she's in Vegas a lot by herself and she goes to the gym three times a week and she's deadlifting in a wow. little EOS. That is so cool. Yeah, but like I didn't, like you say, you can invite them and you can do all this, but they kind of have to choose. It's kind of like helping people lose weight. Like mm -hmm. You can teach them everything. What do they say? Uh, bring a horse to water, can't make them drink or something? Yeah. Bring a horse mm -hmm. to water if they drown, it's your fault. Yeah. Does a bear shit in the woods or something like that? Yeah, I've heard something like that. Yeah. For for you, for someone that has like made, a, I think, a, a pretty big following on Instagram in fitness, do you have any like um, take home bits of wisdom for people that are aspiring to be like you? Uh, my main thing is that if you have goals, you're not gonna reach them without doing anything about it. It's kind of harsh, but you just have to get started because if you're not going to do anything about it, you're just going to stay stagnant for the rest of your life. So you got to get to it. When, when you got into fitness, did you want to like also build your following or like was it was fitness and, and social media like this or was it kind of like this and then it became like this? Like how did you yeah. arrive at where you're at? My page started as like a shit post lifting dump. It was like week one, day one, blah, blah, blah. 70 pounds at RPU 6, all that. And then I don't know what happened. Somewhere along the line, I started making reels and then it just took off 
and yeah it was never meant to be what it is now but i'm super grateful for it but i never expected it would get here so it was just fitness dump and then now it is an actual straight up fitness page that has content that goes viral yeah. about fitness yeah and i'm grateful for it it's That's just really cool. it was never like the plan but I mean, I guess it, there was like a little bit of me that hoped it would happen. Because I mean, who uses hashtags and doesn't hope that their right. shit will go viral? Right. Yeah. So. Yeah, no one makes content to not be seen. Yeah. 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 That's true. Yeah. <laughs> well, because I make content, but sometimes I just make it because in the moment, I'm not thinking about being seen. I just thought it was fun. Yes. Yeah. So I, I just think true. it's fun. It's very natural to yeah, me yeah, and yeah. I put it up. But then if no one sees it, I am going. Oh. I think it's because <laughs> it's natural to you and then we've done it so long. I remember when I first started podcasting and people would talk shit like, dude, you're just doing that for like downloads. Like, no, man, I bought all this equipment. I flew in our guests. <laughs> I sat down for a fucking hour, edited the living fuck out of it to get th thumbs down and not seen. Like, yeah, bitch, I want to get seen. What are you talking about? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, thank you for sharing your story. Um, the last thing I do want to ask is uh, if you were to give a, if you could talk to your parents right now, Aww. And if you can give them one piece of, if you can only coach them through one exercise, what would it be and why? I don't think it's an exercise. I think it's simply just walking. Just get outside, get some sunlight, get some steps in. That will do so much for your body or so much more for your body than you think it will. Because if you sit down every single day and you just stay stagnant for the rest of your life, that's where your body's gonna wanna be and your body's just gonna break down. But if you keep moving, your body's gonna thank you. For sure. What if you get your dad to do a bodybuilding show with you? That would be insane. That, I don't think that's gonna happen. That would hey. be the best content. I <laughs> that know. That would be crazy. <laughs> Mr. Be Fitnessing. Mr. <laughs> yeah, Fitness. Mr. Fitnessing with two Gs. I know. <laughs> it's time to get shredded, Mr. Pops. <laughs> time to get shredded, Pops. You heard it here. I don't know about that. <laughs> uh, we'll, me and Bart will go to the show if Pops competes. <laughs> I don't know about yeah. that. See you guys next time. <laughs>